Hey everyone, welcome back to The Privacy Guy. Today I want to talk about something that um, you know a lot of privacy advocates did a long time ago and um, I probably should have done a long time ago too, um, but uh, I just did it a couple weeks ago and um, what that is is deleting my Instagram. So I want to talk about why I deleted my Instagram account, <clears throat> uh, talk about some of the reasons that um, Instagram's privacy issues. Um, I'm not going to get into the specifics of what Instagram does that's not really privacy friendly, but rather the impacts that it has on Instagram users. And um, it kind of relates to other app usage as well. Um, but I just want to talk about my experience with deleting Instagram. So a couple weeks ago, I deleted Instagram from my phone because uh, I had been using it too much. Um, it was taking up too much of my time. It was a distraction uh, during the day, and so I deleted it. Um, and kind of my biggest realization is not like specific privacy intrusions that Instagram does, like you know tracking location information or anything like that. Um, I think the biggest issue the, that I have with Instagram's privacy practices are that because Instagram collects so much information about all of its users, it's able to perfectly tailor like the explore page and my feed. And so, you know, next thing I know, I've been scrolling for 45 minutes because Instagram has all that information about the content that I'm consuming, the posts that I'm interacting with, um, and, you know, just how I'm using the app in general. So I think. You know, we don't necessarily realize some of the privacy issues that we're experiencing on a daily basis. Um, and, you know, maybe we don't care that Facebook is collecting our location data or that Instagram is collecting um, information about which posts we interact with or, um, you know, what subjects we're interested in or which advertisements we're most likely to be interested in. But the biggest problem that I have with all of that uh, data that Instagram collects is that then Instagram is more easily able to influence my behavior on the app. So, um, you know, if Instagram collected no information about me and all it was able to see was, uh, you know, my email address, my name, and uh, maybe my location, uh, odds are I would spend much less time on Instagram because all of the content that would be in my feed wouldn't be specifically tailored to my past behavior on the app. Um, so I think that's something that gets overlooked and, uh, and it's, it plays back into the biggest issue of um, companies like Instagram or Amazon or any of these big companies that collect a lot of data about their users. Um, you know, it's not just that they have all that data, it's the power and influence that they're able to uh, build as they collect that information. So as they learn more about you, they're able to learn more about your behavior. They're able to um, predict what you're gonna do in the future. And that's one of the biggest privacy issues I have with social media. It's not that they're collecting the information. It's not that it's stored on their servers and someone could access it. It's that they're using all of that information to benefit um, themselves and their advertisers and you know basically harm their users you know they're not directly harming me they're providing me a service and i'm entertained but um, at the end of the day if i spend five hours a day on instagram um, i think my life over the next 10 years is going to be pretty miserable so um, and you look at the scale that instagram is operating at they have over a billion users um, you know if they're able to convince people to spend an extra 20 minutes a day i mean think of the hundreds of thousands of hours or millions of hours that um, Instagram is, you know, taking away from other things, other parts of people's lives. Um, so that was kind of my thought process for deleting the app, deleting my account. Um, don't really have any plans to go back unless, uh, yeah, I don't know. If I have a business account or something that I need to run on there, then, you know, maybe I'll create a new Instagram account. But for now, I'm kind of happy not having one. And uh, yeah, kind of once I deleted it, I realized how much time I was spending on it. I thought about it more and kind of realized that Instagram was controlling me more than I was controlling the app on my phone. 
Um, so that's just one thing for you all to think about. Um, this kind of applies to other apps too. So Snapchat, Twitter, Facebook, um, any of these apps that have feeds that you can scroll through constantly. Um, the more they know about you, the more they're able to keep you on their apps and distract you from other parts of your life. So that was my thought process. Hope this was informative. Um, just wanted to kind of get that out there. So thanks for tuning in. Uh, I'd really appreciate it if you made it this far. If you would subscribe, it means a lot. It helps me spread privacy around the internet and that's my end goal. So uh, thanks for watching and check back soon for more videos.